What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own face cam border. And remember if you guys like these videos, so leave a like, let's see if we can smash 400 likes, and with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to be doing to make this face cam border is having the actual layout of the video. So we're going to go to Photoshop and go to File, New, and make a new transparent file, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and then just click OK. So this over here is going to be kind of our canvas. This is where the video would be, right? And using this, we can kind of judge where we're going to put our face cam and put the face cam on top of this blank canvas. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making the actual rectangle or the actual border. So to do that, just click on the rectangle tool and make sure the fill is set to none. So just click on this fill square over here and make sure you have the white box with the red line through it selected, which means there's going to be no fill and make sure you have a black stroke with a stroke of 12 points. Now you can experiment with this later on, but for now we're going to be sticking with 12 points. So when you're making your face cam border, there's multiple sizes you can make your face cam. You know, some people have larger face cams, but it doesn't matter what size the face cam is, as long as the aspect ratio is the same to the actual recording of the video or the actual recording of your face. So most of the time, your recordings, you know, your face cam recordings with their webcam or with their phone are going to be having an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, which is, you know, 720p or 1080p. So to make sure that the size of this rectangle you make is also 16 by 9, just go ahead and use an aspect ratio calculator. So I just googled it and I found one by andrewhedges.name. And here we can set the aspect ratio so that the actual rectangle we make is going to have the same aspect ratio or proportions as our face cam. So you don't have to squish anything in. So in this case, my camera records in 16 by 9. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9 since it's 720p. So in the width, I would have 16 and in the height, I would have 9. And here I can set the width of the rectangle I want. And when I put the width in, it's going to give me the height of the rectangle to have it have the same proportions as a 16 by 9 rectangle. And it's going to have the same proportions as the 720p recording. So I'm going to go ahead and make the width 480. And it tells me my height has to be 270. So I'm going to go back into Photoshop, click once and set the width to 480. And it said my height had to be 270. So I'm going to make this 270. Click on OK. And as you can see, this rectangle has the same aspect ratio as a 720p recording. And it's also in 16 by 9. Now we can go ahead and move this rectangle to wherever we want our face cam to be. So I'm going to put mine on the top right over here. And that looks good to me. And now we can actually add some effects to it. So we're going to right click on the rectangle and go to blending options. And you can set the color to whatever you want by going on color overlay, clicking on that, and then you can change the color like that. Or if you want, you can actually add a gradient, which I think looks much cooler. So as you can see, you have this gradient over here. And you can just click on this gradient stopper and then select from a bunch of gradients that you might like. And then you can even double click the stops and change the colors of the gradients as well. So I could double click on this and change this from purple to blue. And as you can see, changes over here. So I'm going to just select a black and white gradient, click OK, and just make the opacity 10% or even uh, 20%. Or actually, I'm going to make it look metallic. So to do that, I'm going to set this back to 100. And as you can see, right now I have a black and white gradient. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this black and turn it into kind of a lighter gray, like so. So now it looks metallic. And I'm going to click OK, click OK, and that looks good. Now you can also add a stroke to this face cam overlay. Or you can add a drop shadow, which I personally think looks really cool. So I'm going to click on the drop shadow tab, make the opacity 100% make the distance zero and then for now we're going to see what the spread in size looks like when it's 33. Oh, let's make that bit bigger. So I think that looks good and the spread is 44 and the size is 33. But just experiment and see what you like. Just remember, you're free to explore these options and have your face cam look the way you want it to look. You can even add a bevel and emboss for example if you think that looks really cool and just mess around with it and see what you like the most. So now that we have the actual rectangle done, you can leave it like this and have this as your face cam border, or you can also add text as well. So we're going to add some text. Just click on the text tool and then just click on the actual canvas and you can type out any text that you want. So I'm going to just type out Ziovo. All right, now it's a bit too big. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller and that looks good. There we go. And you can also add some effects to the text. So just right click on the text layer, go to blending options and add whatever you want. So I'm going to add a gradient overlay once again uh, just a black and white gradient and make the opacity 10% and also add another drop shadow with opacity 100% distance zero and we're going to see if the spread and size looks good at 44 
that looks good and now the last thing we have to do is just align this text to the face cam border so i'm just going to move the actual text over here and right now it's not centered so to center it i'm just going to control click on the rectangle layer like so and as you can see the rectangle layer is selected now with the text layer selected i'm going to go to layer align layers to selection horizontal centers and it should horizontally align the text to the rectangle and there we go our face cam is now done just go to file save as and save this file as a png so i'm going to save this as Sayovo face cam and boom it is done now you can just add it to your videos so in camtasia all i would do is i would add in the actual face cam recording and then put in the face cam layer on top like so and right now it doesn't match up so what i would do is i would just move it aside and then i would resize the face cam recording to match with the actual border until it becomes the same size and then just move it in like so so i'm just going to resize it like that and there we go the recording is now in the face cam border and it works and it's the same case in obs you can just move around the actual video recording to where you want by clicking on edit scene and then moving it around and resizing it and then you just add in your face cam by going to the sources right clicking adding a new image and just selecting your face cam so we're going to go ahead browse and we're going to get the Zyovo face cam which is right there click ok and there we go now we can just resize the actual face cam or the recording so to you know resize either one just click on the layer and then click on edit scene so to change the video capture device settings I would just click on them click edit scene and then I could just change the size of the face cam as well so we're going to go ahead and do that and there we go it now fits inside of the border and that's about it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it so that's about it if you guys like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out